Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to the Wednesday morning rush and we are here in this portion of the video to give two ESP cards. All right? ESP cards, what are they? They are cards. They sort of look like this. Actually, they really do look like this. They are cards with symbols on. Did you see that card? All right. Uh, they got symbols. You got a star, you got a square, you got a wavy line, you got a plus sign, and you got a circle. In this case, it's the square, so this is an extra card for you. But the object is to try to guess what the symbol is. There's no right, there's no wrong. You know, you come here with open mind, so uh, uh, open your mind to this little fun exercise because it's an exercise people wonder how they can improve their intuition rate improve their psychic ability well one way is to exercise the gray matter between the ears all right the mind the brain all right and this is one way to do that so ladies and gentlemen for your wednesday here is your first card what is it? Is it a star? Is it a square? Is it a plus sign? Is it a wavy line? Is it the circle? And use that third eye. Don't use the two eyes, you know, because you're not going to get it there. Just use the two eyes to focus on the card, but use that third eye to accept the symbol that's coming to your mind, okay? Now, don't, um, you know, push yourself too hard because, remember, there's no right, there's no wrong. And you'll be surprised when you relax, you know, what you can accomplish. I want to say what symbol it is. But anyway, what symbol is it, huh? All right, you got it? I'm going to write that down. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to shuffle, and we're going to do a second card here. All right? Tell your friends, tell your family, you know. Come see the Mr. Charles video for lots of cool things to do. Alright, is it a star? Is it a square? Is it a wavy line? Is it the plus sign? Is it the circle? Here, let me hold it closer. You want me to turn it up? There it is. Uh, uh, what symbol is it? Alright? Just messing with you. Alright, got it? Three, two, one, bam! Alrighty. So, ladies and gentlemen, those are our two ESP cards, and you should see the results right about here towards the end of the video. So don't go nowhere, all right? Good magical morning, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, how do you think it did on the ESP cards? Think you got them? Well, we'll find out in just a little bit. So, anyway, I am Charles. Nice to meet you. I'm glad that you came to spend a few minutes with me. All right? All our energies here are positive, and we're going to give you some of those energies to take along with you in your journeys today. All righty. So, uh, I am your host. I am your host with the ghost. And, uh, yes, she's still there. And there she is, hanging out. Yes, there's an entity attached to that doll. The doll is haunted. All right? Yeah. How else you want to put it? So, that's the way it is. And the green guy, the green guy's around. I'm looking at the little viewer on that camera, and there he is. He's back there, looking over my shoulder, making sure we don't do something that we're not supposed to. Right? Mm. We wouldn't do that anyway. So, what else? Uh, we are here for the Wednesday morning rush. A little bit of tarot and spiritual strangeness to start your day. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, grab whatever it is that you grab in the morning. And uh, let's do a little bit of tarot and spiritual strangeness before you rush out that door, before you run out, before you go and do whatever it is that you do during the daytime, especially today. So let's get a little peek. Let's take a little peek at what could be in store for us today. Okay, here we go. Splitting to the left and spreading to the right. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Okay, not looking too shabby here. It looks like um, today's going to be a good day if you go to school. Uh, school is looking very rewarding for you today. School training, okay? Um, and that, that is going across the board, you know, uh, let's say high schools, colleges, 
um, and above or trade schools and including military training. All right, so make everything you can out of it for today. Today is your hump day, so um, you can put in that extra effort, and it looks like today you might need to put in that extra effort. A little extra studying might have to uh, go on after uh, your day, after. I don't want to say after work, after school, but school is work, all right? That is your job, and don't let anybody tell you any different, because I've been there. Yes, it is. Um, what have we got going here? It looks like also if you're at home, it could be a busy day for you. All right, uh, uh, get ready. There might be a knock on your door pretty soon. Um, no, it's not a, you know, a friend type of uh, visit. Um, it might be some sort of service man or, you know, service, you know, who knows. You know, you got something broken at home or someone trying to sell you a service. Service is coming up. That's why I'm using service. All right, some sort of service. But uh, I guess it's up to you on whether or not you want to answer that door. But, you know, hey, you know, if you uh, were into the, like the ESP cards, uh, when somebody knocks on your door or rings that doorbell, do you get the feeling? Do you have an idea who it could be? All right. Now, I, I don't know if it still happens with cell phones. I guess it does. But in the old days, you know, that phone would ring and you sometimes would get the energy of who's on the other side. But uh, well, I'm just saying, you know, try that with your door. When that door knocks, who is it? All right. Okay. So what else we got going on here? Um, busy, busy, busy at work today. Uh, we get a little bit of a caution. You know, watch out if that boss is around. All right. I'm seeing that you're going to have a busy morning, you know, just getting out of the door, right? But try to make it out on time, right? If you don't have to leave for, you know, a half hour, well, try to leave maybe 15 minutes, in 15 minutes, because it looks like your commute and other things might be slowing you down today, and you really don't want to be late today, all right? I think the boss is taking names, so... Uh, you know, if you punch that clock, uh, you might want to make sure you are on time. And uh, for some reason, uh, for the rest of the week, try to, you know, do what you're supposed to at work, you know, administrative-wise. You know, punch the clock on time. Don't punch in too early. And, of course, don't punch out too late unless it's approved. I know. I used to be a boss, and I'm probably sounding like one now. So, uh, yeah. So be careful. I, I just got the feeling that somebody has an eye on you. But this eye on you also could be a good thing, all right? They might be checking you out for something to come, something to your favor, something to give you a advantage in the financial world, okay? So uh, it looks like maybe somebody's checking you out for a possible promotion or raise of some sort, all right? Uh, and those, those, uh, I'm going to give you a little something else here. Um, yeah, yeah, the boss is, uh, could be a man, but those of you with a female, um, uh, supervisor or boss, um, this looks really true on your side. So, you know, if you got a female boss, supervisor, um, uh, well, um, yeah better pay attention to what you're doing for the next few days because I think you're being observed and let's get off of that and I don't mean observed you know for a negative thing all right this is looking as a positive thing and of course you don't want to be late anyway you know that's your livelihood that's your job you, you leave the house in the morning to go to work to earn that paycheck right so you know hey you know go and earn that paycheck you know when you clock out at night ask yourself did I earn my pay for today all right uh, and uh, a lot of folks I know, they've improved themselves a thousand percent by just asking themselves that, you know. They, they've gone from a, a worker to a, a supervisory position or more, some sort of team leader, all right, uh, just by asking themselves, did I earn my paycheck today? You know, and when they can answer yes, well, that just keeps them going up the ladder to wanting to accomplish more. But to each their own, right? Yeah. So, 
ladies and gentlemen, let's do another spread real fast. And yes, I am available to go private if you need a private reading, a little bit more in depth um, questions about yourself. Well, like I said, I am available. Just get in touch with me at that email and uh, we'll see what we can do, okay? So, yeah. And here we go. One more, one more. Uno, uno more. Uno más. All right, here we go. Split to the left. Spread to the right. Yeah. All right, what else is what else is going on here in your Wednesday? Well, it looks like that some task, some assignment is going to end today. All right, it looks like it's something that you've uh, yeah you've been working on, of course, and it's something that you, you're not too crazy about doing. But it looks like uh, somehow, some way, this assignment's going to end for you today. Perhaps you, I'm, I'm feeling you on the job. Perhaps you're going to get a little extra help today to get this out of the way so that you can move on to new things, okay? Uh, showing that you should do something for yourself today. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, the example that is popping in my mind is, is that. You know, if you haven't done ice cream in a while, maybe you have yourself a little bit of ice cream. You know, something enjoyable, something that makes you feel good. Do it. You deserve it. All right? <clears throat> you know, things get tough. Things are, get crazy. Things get hectic. And, uh, well, you, you've been going. You've been going, going, going. Pushing, 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 you know, to make yourself a success. Well, maybe just step back for, you know, a little 15 minutes, a half hour, an hour. You know, take some you time, all right? You deserve it, all right? You know, yeah. Yeah, it's Wednesday. You know, it's hump day. Getting close to the weekend. What about maybe going to the movie, you know, on a Wednesday night? You know, get out. You know, change your, your surroundings just for a little while. You know, that's just an example. Maybe go to a movie if you can afford it and such. You know, it, it's just showing that it would be a good thing. Um... It, it's also showing, well, let's get off of that one because well, what I'm getting here is it's showing that you are starting to think about the weekend and that's a good thing. Um, um, it looks like your weekend does need a little more planning. Uh, if you've got to make a schedule for the weekend, uh, well, then I think that you should do it because I see several, or more than several things coming up for you and that could be a hamper on the pleasure part of the weekend because we do have pleasure coming up for you for the weekend. So, anyway, uh, we should end that right now. And the ESP symbols should be coming up, right? Alrighty. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you check out my other videos. Make sure you thumbs up this video. That means to like the video, hit that, uh, hitchhiking sign and um, <clears throat> share where you can share it in your social networks you know you got the uh, I don't want to mention the names you know but you know share it where you can and remember to please subscribe you know and uh, we shall see you tomorrow morning another day closer to the weekend so ladies and gentlemen reading is done bye